Let's get to it. He at home now. You gotta be resilient, BA. The season will do everything it can to wear you down. And it's on you not to let that happen. So let's take a look at the starters for the Philadelphia 76ers. Up front, it's Tucker at the four, next to Embiid in the middle. James Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Harris in at the three, the small forward. I like watching Embiid attack on the inside, using his size and soft touch to capitalize. To the paint. Vucevic gets the bucket. Rock solid speed right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here's Tucker, averaging around six a game. Pass to Embiid. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Chicago with the ball. To the inside. For Rosen. Oh, a dunk and a foul! A powerhouse move! He's got a chance for one more at the line. That one on Tucker. Okay. Rosen just keeps getting the Rosen out here flexing. Incredible longevity. Started every game after his rookie season. And Smitty talking about DeRozan, a key piece to this team, no doubt. You know, B.A., he just continues to improve his skills. He's not a key piece this year. An elite score, now sharing the ball more than he has in his career. Also doing some dirty work on the boards, too. Now here's Maxi. And he's been a big part of their offense, averaging more than he got me. points a game. He got me. There's a move for you. Wow, just showed great creativity on his way to the bucket. Here's the great driving in. It's not going to go for him. And it's Philadelphia the other way. Their last encounter was in Philadelphia. They failed to create enough good. How did he make that? Ball movement just wasn't quite where it needed to be. You know, they take one step yeah. forward, two steps back, and exercise in frustration. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Driving inside, the great with the bucket. This is what makes Lonzo Ball a great facilitator. The timing and the placement on the pass. Here's Harden. 11 points for him last game against Chicago. No good. Levine against Harris. And here's Levine. The layup off target. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. And it's Maxi missing. The Bulls have gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Outside Levine. The kick out to Ball. Beyond the arc. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Outside Maxi. Pass to Harden. Here's Tucker. Harris on the wing. Six to shoot. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. With a nice combination of strength and elusiveness, Harris makes things difficult for the defenders inside. Uh, whenever you bring up the 76ers, you instantly think of Joel Embiid. Oh, no question. He's the face of this franchise. Embiid is as good as anyone in the league. Off the floor, Joel is willing to take the blame when things don't go right. That's who you want as a leader. It's tipped. Oh, it's Damn. By Tucker. That's my Pass fault. Break, Philadelphia. Pass to Embiid. Yes, Joel and a Embiid. nice assist from Harden. Assist the control and focus James from Embiid. Harden. Able to absorb hits from the defense and still finish. Here's the great. Puts one up from 19. You're tripping. Off the back iron and out. Missed opportunity. It's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. Harris finds Maxi. Outside Harden. The three ball. It doesn't go for him. And it's Chicago the other way. Coming off that win against the Sixers. And as a rule of thumb, 
The road can really test your team's depth. But they all stepped up and collectively produced a lot of points. It was really that second wave in the rotation that took the offense to another level. And the improvement of Tyrese Maxey's three-point shot from his first season to second year was just unprecedented. The Sixers leading. Taking a look at Philadelphia. Harris and Embiid are playing up front. Shake Milton out there with James Harden. And it's Melton in at the three. Harris on the wing. Defended by DeRozan. And it's good. Two points. Harris has got six. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Going all in. That was the 2K drive. Well worth a second look. Yes, yeah, staying with it and looking to expand this margin. Hard nose takes like that will certainly help. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Well, Chicago shooting 35% so far in this one. Here's DeRozan. Why would you shoot that? Why would you do that? Rebounds in the game. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. DeMar DeRozan picks one up. And the defender there a little out of position. Harris sees this, takes advantage, draws the foul. Tucker's checked in for Philadelphia. And when you're trying to slow down a top scorer, often the game plan is to get physical. Grant, you would know better than anybody. Oh, else. bro. That was my fault. It's interesting. I mean, it's Should I icon pass? It's a mental challenge. When you're in the trenches trying to slow down a great offensive player, it really becomes a battle of wills. You have to stay focused. You have to be disciplined. And most importantly, you just cannot take a playoff and allow a great player to get going. To the middle. Slams it in. When operating in the pick and roll, Booch knows how to use angles to free himself up. Pass to Harris. Back to Harden. Drops in the layup for two. And the 76ers lead by 10. Few guards in the league can carve out space on the interior the way Harden does. And Embiid with the block. And so the ball out of bounds. Embiid touched it last. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. How was that a charge? How was that a charge? Takes the hit and gets the call. The 76ers have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Well, guys, the great in the last outing against the 76ers put on a show. He had a 29 points, and if you want to know how aggressive he was, check out how many times he got to the free throw line. He was tenacious, continuing to play exceptional basketball. Guys, we'll see how long he can play at this level. Great report there, Allie. It was obvious he could do anything he wanted. A fantastic win. Well, I'll tell you. He was enjoying himself out there, kind of like us here in the broadcast booth. And whoever was matched up against him wasn't enjoying themselves. What I like is they just kept calling his number. Sometimes we see coaches go away from what's working, and we wonder why. Down low. Here's Embiid. Come on, you got to guard. Come on, you got to play defense. That's terrible defense. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. And Harden, the former league MVP, three-time scoring champ. Grant, the only thing he's missing is a title. Yeah, B.A., I mean, it would only help cement his legacy. For years, he'd carry his team only to run out of gas in the playoffs. No! But all success counts for a lot when it's all said and done. Almost had the steal. You have to love the pressure defense. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Outside Tucker. Pass to Harris. Milton against Ball. Back to Harden. Five to shoot. 
Knocks down the triple. Harden's gotten his third basket of the night. And that's just precision personified from Harden beyond the arc. I mean, he looks so no. shooting from out there. And Bro. You know, they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Chicago grabs the miss. So far this quarter, he's been out of sync and might be pressing right now. The great with the bucket. That's good planning and that's good execution. And that's a great look. The 76ers have gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. Outside Harden. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 11 feet out and he hits it. Harden's got he's nine Harden. points. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Ball outside. Outside Levine. Pass to the great. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Smitty, what you like about this Bulls offense, they tend to take good shots. The reason why, B.A., they've got veteran scorers who are disciplined, patient. It's difficult for defenses to speed them up. Well, when you look at the wing position, how do you feel it's evolved since you played, Smitty? Well, they've been asked to do more, B.A., especially on the defensive end. Mostly wings now are asked to guard one through five with teams switching a lot. And also a lot of these wing guys are asked to run the offense. And it's rejected. And a pass break now for the Bulls. The great with the bucket. Seven points in the game. The 76ers have gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. Outside Harden. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. That's what they want from Patrick. Active, aggressive. Okay, we down by 10. We can catch up. We can catch up. And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. Nice game. What a performance. It's by James Harden. I'll tell you what, he's still working on his playmaking skills, but he's been tremendous so far in finding the open man. Yeah, in the first half, he took on the role of playmaker. I think it surprised the defense a little bit. Gave this offense a different dimension. Zach Levine out there with DeMar DeRozan. Then there's Nikola Vucevic. Then it's Lonzo Ball. And it's the great. And at the two. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Harris on the wing. Shoots over Vucevic. Harris' the shot the is good. Harris has got 10. Nice bucket. The polished inside game. Something Harris relies on. Here's the great. He's got seven. No good from outside. And it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. Here's Maxi. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. And now it's a 12-point Philadelphia lead. Though he does have a scorer's mindset, Harden's vision and experience playing alongside some of the best talent in the league have made him an awesome playmaker. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Here's Maxi. And Vucevic with the block. Vucevic is so long, he's tough to get a shot over. Ball, no Why would you shoot that? For Philadelphia, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Here's Harris. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got five rebounds in the game. Here's DeRozan. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Second personal foul. James Harden picks one up. I mean, a terrific free throw shooter, DeRozan, really pushes the action, looking to score and or get fouled. You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. Pass to Harris. 
Inside, Embiid. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. The Sixers identity really does center around their defense. It's so true, B.A., and they've done a great job playing to their strengths. That's the key for any contending team. Maximize your players' talents. Philly has done that as well as anybody. Milton's checked in for the Sixers. Here's the great. Maxi covering. The great with the bucket. 11 points in the game. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. Pass to Harris. Second half of play here with just under two and a half minutes passed. And the foul is called. He missed it. That was a clean block. A couple of free throws coming his way. It's it definitely wasn't a foul. Kuchimich. Slowly but surely, Harris continues to elevate his game. The shooting, the playmaking, the ability to make a difference. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Here's the great. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Third personal foul. Second team foul. And he makes a first. At the line for the bowl. Number 13. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. Philadelphia has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Harris outside. To the left wing. Left side, Maxi. The baseline, Jay. Here's Embiid. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One. Substitution on the court. At the line for Chicago. Patrick Williams. What I appreciate about Okay, we only seven points now. Well. That's not bad. Seven points. Beverly against Harden. Pass to MB. From deep Melton. And he can't get that one. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Their key to cons the 76ers. Moment ago, head coach Doc Rivers in the huddle. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. Philadelphia has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. And the 76ers, looking at who they've got. Up front, it's Tucker at the four, next to Embiid in the middle. James Harden out there with DeAnthony Melton, and it's McDaniels in at the small forward position. And it's in there. Well, Embiid. And the yeah, right. And the Sixers lead by nine. Wow, the vision of P.J. Tucker made that play possible. Here's the great. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Second that one on Tucker. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Some changes for Chicago. Zach Levine comes in for Green, and it's Lonzo Ball in for Caruso. Harris has checked in for the Sixers. Melton against Ball. Here's Embiid. And the layup. Come on, bro. After a nice lead pass. He's really finding his rhythm here. I mean, smart move to keep feeding him the ball. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. I'm on fire, coach. Right now. I'm on fire, coach. He's really turned it around here, scoring the ball. Back to Hardy. Give me that. And here's the fast break. Williams from long range. The rebound by Melton. You ain't never shot that shot in your life. Go and shoot it today. It's your fault. You could be up. Harden's got his fifth assist in this one. 
He's a fluid athlete who knows what he's doing. Nice finish by Tobias Harris in transition. And we just had to see I mean to pass it. One drive, one more time. Great stuff. Making an impact. I love the aggression. Playing on that front foot and looking to expand their lead. Come on, bro. Guard your man. Eleven point seventy sixers lead. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Out to the right wing. Pass to the great. Clock at six. It's Vucevic, high post. Williams from long range. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. He's doing what he can to help them cut into this lead. His shot just isn't quite there tonight. Over to the wing. Tucker finds Harris. And it's Chicago with a the board. They're off to battle the Trailblazers after this one as they'll be playing at Moda Center. That's the first of a three-game trip out on the road for them. Some floor awareness of ball. Excels at getting the ball to his uncovered teammates. Pass to Melton. Three-pointer, Harden. That shot off the mark. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Here's Levine for three. Why would you shoot that? For Philadelphia, they've gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Melton passes to Embiid. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got his fifth rebound in this one. They need something good. Oh! Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Pass the ball. The shot. It's all Damn. the Sixers. Embiid's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. DeMar DeRozan's checked in for Williams. Maxi, he's checked in for Philadelphia. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Harris' the shot is good. Unselfish play by P.J. Tucker. He knows when to dish the rock. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Fans, make some noise for your Chicago Lovable. All right, we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Joel Embiid. With the way he shot the ball, he had to be the choice. His percentage was fantastic, and he's just done a great job of finding space and taking advantage of every inch the defense gives him. Well, they were coming off two straight losses, and he put his foot down. He stepped up his game, had a big night, and got them moving in the Come right on, direction bro. again. Let he's me pass up my shot. Range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. We lost. So we lost. At the offensive end, Harris has a number of go-to moves, and they padded up to a big night. DeRozan outside. 20 feet out. Shot is good off the back rim and in. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. Outside Harden. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over Bucevic. Embiid can't hit. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. Here's Levine. Oh, and the jam! By Levine. This is what we've come to expect from Zach Levine. Poetry in air. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Outside Maxi. Uses the glass on the layup. Bro, how? And the 76ers lead by 11. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they executed. Vucevic gets the bucket. An absolute force on the offensive glass. Vuce works hard to impact the game any way he can. Time called here. The 76ers decide to talk it over. They're up by nine. One minute left to play in the fourth quarter. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Doc Rivers' huddle. So far, he's happy with their play, but he wants to prevent any kind of a letdown. He told the team, 
stay aggressive. Don't play not to lose. We want to push the action and try to break their spirit. It's our ball. Thanks. And it's out of bounds. Still Chicago's ball. Boy, if you're the coach, you hate to see that kind of miscommunication between your guys. The defense late to react. A beautiful play we just saw. Now here's Harden. He's covered closely. Harris outside. Outside for Harden. Pass to Maxi. Pulls it from the top of the key. Chicago grabs the miss. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Down low. DeRozan. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Tobias Harris. That's good from DeRozan. Here's Korkmaz. And an intentional foul right there. Kobe White. Second personal foul. Second team. 20 foul. seconds left in the game. Second and that's an intentional foul. Chicago foul. He hits the first one. So this one belongs to the 76ers. The end of the game. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Steve Smith, this is Brian Anderson with our 2K Sports crew signing off.